chemical properties of ethers ethers sir r o r okay so here ether linkage is highly strong so they are less reactive of functional groups they are less reactive okay and they react only on drastic conditions okay like higher temperature okay so drastic conditions only reactions takes place okay the reactions takes place first first case is cleavage of co bond cleavage of co bond so for example when heated with hx co bond breaks and form alcohols and alkyl halides so first reaction is reaction with alkyl halide that is hx for example c2h5 o c2h5 either diethyl ether on reaction with hi it gives c2h5 oh plus c2h5 i this alcohol if uh, if hx hi is in excess the uh, this alcohol again gets converted into alkyl halide on reaction with hi this c2h5 oh reacts with hi if hydrogen iodide is in excess and form c2h5i plus h2 so these are the reactions now next case is if the compound is an alkyl aryl ether what will happen if one group is aryl and other group is alkyl in the case of aryl alkyl ether what will happen let's take one example if oxygen is attached to one alkyl group and an aryl group here we can see that this carbon is sp2 hybridized so there is partial double bond character in this co bond so this is highly stable and the cleavage will takes place here so on reaction with hi it gets converted into phenol and ri okay this will be the product next second case if the ether is an unsymmetrical ether what will happen unsymmetrical ether Let's take one example c2h5 ethyl methyl ether c2h5 och3 in this case the iodine or the halide ion will move towards the smaller hydrocarbon part due to due to steric hindrance okay due to steric hindrance halide part will move towards the uh, least substituted carbon atom so hi this gets converted into c2h5oh plus ch3 this is the next case okay now what will be order of reactivity of hydrogen halides the order of reactivity will be hi is more reactive than hbr which is more reactive than let's see okay this will be the order of reactivity now uh, this cleavage of co bonds takes place at higher temperature Con we are using concentrated hydrogen iodide or hydrogen bromide at a very high temperature only the reaction takes place these are the different cases okay next the mechanism here is sn2 mechanism so sn2 mechanism in ethers first step is protonation of ether protonation of ether take one example ch3 o ch2 ch3 ethyl methyl ether on reaction with hi protonation takes place here h will come at attach o h plus ch2 ch3 this is oxonium ion plus i minus okay oxonium ion will be produced next next step is 
This iodine is a good nucleophile. So it attacks the least substituted carbon of oxonium ion. Here, it will attack here. So first, an intermediate is obtained. So the reaction will be like CH3, CH2, OH plus CH3. On reaction with I minus. Okay. This I minus attach here. Okay. An intermediate will be obtained. So I minus CH3. Okay. O. CH2. CH3. Okay. This will be the intermediate. Now, next what will happen? The breakage will take place here and form CH3I plus CH3, CH2, OH will be obtained. Okay. So, alkyl halide and alcohol will be obtained. Next, third step is if excess HI is present, in the case of excess HI, what will happen? This alcohol gets converted into alkyl halide. So, CH3, CH2, OH, okay, plus HI, okay. So, next step is oxygen. CH3, CH2, plus, plus I minus will be here. Okay. Now the breakage will take place here. I minus will come and attach here. Okay. So the product obtained will be CH3, CH2, I plus H2. So, if excess HI is the, this alcohol gets converted into alkyl halide. Okay, this is a SN2 mechanism takes place. So, we already discussed in the case of unsymmetrical ethers. Next case is if a tertiary alkyl group is present in ether. For example, CH3, 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 OCH3. This is a tertiary group. So, what will happen? In this case, SN1 mechanism takes place because tertiary carbocation is highly stable. So, first they obtain a tertiary carbocation like this. Okay. So, tertiary carbocation will be obtained. So, that will attach, that is highly stable cation and so that cation will attach on HI minus ion and form an alkyl halide with this tertiary carbocation and uh, CH3OH will be obtained. So, the reaction will be like this. On reaction with HI, the product obtained will be like this. CH3I. Okay. So, this I minus will come and attach to this carbocation and next product CH3OH. This will be the product. Now, next case is aryl alkyl ether. For example, let us take next case. In this case, what will happen? We know that CO bond is highly uh, more stronger than this CO bond. Okay, due to sp2 hydrized carbon atom, there is partial double bond character between this CO. So the breakage will take place here. Okay, so the product obtained will be plus HI gives OH plus CH3I. This is the next case. Okay, now here this is highly stable compound. So further reaction with HI will not take place. This much about the chemical properties. First property reaction with hydrogen halide. Okay.